Hello guys, welcome to Nigeria Pen Media. If this is the first time you're watching our channel, please do well to subscribe. The headlines. Stop delaying us weapons to fight terrorism. Federal government tells world powers. The news in detail read does. The federal government has appealed to the world powers not to be weighed by unsubstantial um, argument or unsubstantiated arguments to deny Nigeria vital platforms and weapons to fight terrorism. The Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohammed, made the appeal on Thursday when he featured a news agency of Nigeria NAN Forum in Abuja. I want to use this opportunity to say that the international community can help us better than they are doing right now. To fight terrorists, we need platforms and weapons. When the international community is weighed by unsubstantiated arguments to deny the country of vital platforms and weapons to fight terrorism, you cannot turn around or turn around to accuse the country of not fighting terrorism, he said. The minister, Butres de Clem, saying certain world powers have refused to even sell to us certain vital weapons. For more than two to three years now, we have paid for certain vi vital weapons that they have not released to us and they even refuse to give us spare parts. I think our appeal to them is that they should please help Nigeria and provide us with these sensitive platforms so that we can fight insecurity more effectively. The minister said, for Nigerians to fairly assess the efforts of President Mohamed Buhari administration in the fight against insecurity, they should compare where the country was pre-2015 and today. He further said, to better appreciate what the government is doing in the area of, of security, they should take a global survey to understand that unrest. Terrorism and mindless um, violence cut across the globe day by day. We are dealing with extremely unreasonable people, whether in the northwest or in the northeast. They should to forget that we are fighting an unconventional war and at the same time these people have contacts everywhere he said the people that nigerian government is fighting with that they have contacts everywhere so let's also um listen to what he had it that is lai muhammad Suspended acting chairman of the Economic and Crime Con uh, Commission, EFCC, um, Lai Mohammed Ibrahim Mahgu, has told the Oyo Salami Late Judicial Commission of uh, Inquiry that his rights to be fair hearing have been violated. This is contained in a letter written by Mahgu's lawyer, Mr. Wahab. That is in today's headline. Not that today, that's in today's headline. Another one we have here, federal government to deduct money from states over double taxation. Another headline, Magus cry out over fair hearing, lawyers cry salam panel. Another headline for today, we have insecurity, NGF calls for in investigation into Obadaya Malafia allegation. Yes, this is the man that really, really um, stood against um, insecurity in the country, saying that the government has an in the killings. 
that is happening in the country. So Lai Mohammed is coming here to to debunk the idea that it is wrong that the government don't have hands um, in the killing that is happening in the country and uh, that the world power is refusing to give um, Nigerians, uh, Nigerian government the platform and the and they also refuse to give Nigerians the required weapons. Meanwhile, Nigerian government has already paid a certain amount of money so that this weapon should be released to. Another headline for today that is really shocking and um, federal government said to pay 22.6 billion final entitlements of ex airway workers <clears throat> that is the greatest um, headline another one here unila council appointed omololu soyombo as acting vc another, uh, another headline for today is audit query npa recovery 89 millions 2.5 2.404 billion outstanding outstanding rental debts yeah so maybe in less than few seconds in order of a video or we'll just be touching um one of the news here uh, that is really touching the heart of nigerians why um the other vc was uh, removed from office the unila council said that it is a uh, mismanagement um, of fun so let's also see about um unila council's uh, pointing uh pointing a uh, mololu or mololu soyumbo as acting chairman let's also um take a brief look at um the news in details of that very uh, appointments it said here it said with the removal of professor Luwa Toyin Ogundips as the vice uh, can, uh, chancellor of the University of Lagos the governing council has appointed professor Mololu Soyumbo as acting vice chancellor registrar of Unilag Oladeyo Aziz in a statement also confirmed that Ogundipe was lawfully removed as vice chancellor at an agency emergency meeting held on Wednesday, August 12, 2020. Details of the public statement title Renotice to the general public on the removal of the vice chancellor, University of Lagos, Akpoka, Lagos, reads. My attention has been drawn to the document circulating under the hands and signature of the former vice chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Oluwa Toyin T. Ogundip, vice the later pur purports to deny his removal by the governing council of the university at its emergency meeting of, of Wednesday, August 12, 2020. For the avoidance of debt in my capacity as registrar and secretary to the council, um, the only custodian of the minutes of council and the authorizing officer on behalf of council to issue official statement pertaining to all council's affairs. Members of the public are hereby advised to totally disregard the statement attributed to the said former vice chancellor the position remains that he was lawfully removed by the governing council at a meeting fully attended by all council members. I also wish to use the opportunity to inform members of the public that the council at the said meeting duly appointed Professor Theophilus Amalulu Soyumbo of the Faculty of Social Sciences, the University of Lagos, as Vice Chancellor of the University in an acting capacity. The federal government has directed civil servants on grade level 12 and 13 to return to work immediately. That is another headline. Maybe in our next video, 
will bring about that as a subtitle. See federal government direct civil servants on level 12 and 13 to resume immediately. Another headline that I would like to bring to you in subsequent uh, video will be why Boko Haram recruit more members in the northeast. Uh, that is not his governor's complaint. <clears throat> All right, please. If you like this our news analysis, or if you like this our video, or if it's very interesting to you, kindly press on the bell on icon to subscribe to our channel, and also click on the like button. And also, if the video is not interesting, click on the dislike button. And also, we welcome your opinion in our comment section. Thank you. See you in our next video. Bye-bye for now.